please welcome to the stage the first act for the evening. It is the one and only Socrates! <laughs> Keep it going there for Steven! <laughs> How y'all doing tonight? Yeah, my name is Socrates. I am an American. Oh, thanks. Appreciate that. <laughs> if we indict him, will that help? <laughs> yeah, keep holding your breath. Yeah, so I've been living here for about 13 years, and just over a year ago, I learned a Dutch word that changed my life. That word was aangereden which means to get slammed into. And in my case, ik ben aangereden door een scooterklotzak. Because I got ran into by an asshole on a scooter. And uh, yeah, there was this car on the bike path and the scooter stared at the car and came across the middle and we had a head-on collision and I went flying through the air like a bird. But I landed like an octopus and I broke half my arms and I had to go to the hospital, the house of Paracetamol. <laughs> and uh, they took one look at me and said, would you like some morphine? Which is a bad sign. I took the morphine because it was the best part of the day. And they decided to treat me with what they called conservative treatment, which is nothing. <laughs> it's Dutch efficiency, because it was financially efficient. Yeah, they gave me uh, a blue strap. Anybody get the blue strap here? Yeah, people know the blue strap. If you hurt your arm in the Netherlands and they feel like being nice, I'll just give you this blue strap. It's blue and a strap. <laughs> and it has Velcro, so you know it's modern. <laughs> and you make a loop out of it and you do this. And they say, it comes good. Yeah, see, that's a lot of doctors and therapists who have said it comes good. They teach them that. It's the first thing they teach them. Yeah, tell them it comes good. It's optimistic. It's free. <laughs> and buys them a little time. They sent me home and told me to keep exercising. And I can only raise it about so far, you know, actively they call it, but I can like push it up higher. They said I'm supposed to keep my arm good. So I'm in my backyard waving to my neighbors. And I'm getting this really bad vibe from the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It turns out they thought I was a Nazi. <laughs> I tell them what happened to me, and now they think I'm practicing to be a Nazi. It's not any better. I went back to the doctor. I said, hey, doc, it's not coming good. I can't get my arm up this far. I have arm erectile dysfunction. <laughs> And the first step to coming good is getting it up. <laughs> and I'm not getting another date with that. And he said, hey, lass and pendicas, which is, again, a useless Dutch saying. It means, oh, well, peanut butter. <laughs> See, it doesn't help to know, does it? No, not at all. But it rhymes, you know? <laughs> and the Dutch love a good rhyming saying, you know? My favorite one that doesn't make any sense is Nokin in the Koken. <laughs> See, an actual saying, you all know it. Unfortunately, uh, it translates into fucking in the kitchen. <laughs> I can't explain that sentence or that saying. I don't know how to use Nokin in the Koken in context. <laughs> I mean, it's never come up, you know, in my daily life, you know. Uh, the only thing I know that's possible is that uh, if you combine Hey Las Pindicas and Nokin in the Koken, you end up with Cité sauce? <laughs> yeah, I don't really find that stuff tasty personally. So I complained and they said, well, they could maybe do some surgery, you know, like a medical procedure. And uh, I decided to get a second opinion just to make sure that it made sense. So of course I went to Germany. <laughs> well, it's close by and let's face it, the Germans, they've done all the experiments. <laughs> <laughs> so I went over to Germany and I, you know, wanted to get the opinion and they said they looked through all the files of my folders and such and the information they said, according to all this, uh, your mother's Jewish? <laughs> I said, yeah. 
said we can use the gas in surgery. <laughs> I don't know. I moved the question along. I figured it was better if we just talked about the arm. And they said, let me see your ability to use it. And again, I showed them, you know, my active and my passive use. And, and the guy got all excited, you know, and he starts giving it back to me. And I'm like, hey, hey, hey. You know, just a little bit too German. <laughs> and so finally I came back here and I'm going to actually have the surgery here. And, uh, well, we'll see what happens because basically what they did when they did surgery once, in November they finally did a surgery. And uh, I got 12 screws, a piece of carbon fiber, and a bone from a dead guy, some Dutchman. <laughs> I didn't kill him. He would have had to be really, really weak for me to have killed him. But uh, unfortunately they also took some bone out of my knee and some bone marrow, and I can't really walk that well anymore which the Dutch also have a word for that, which is, heh heh. <laughs> exactly, it's an actual Dutch word. It has nuance to it. If you've never been here long enough or dated a Dutch person, you'll hear this word, and you don't know if it's good or it's bad. You know, it's very context-based, you know. You just miss a train, heh heh. It's kind of bad, you know. If you hear it just after sex, <laughs> it's probably bad. It's worse if you hear it before sex. <laughs> just, just saying. So yeah, they're gonna do this new surgery because now I have necrotic in there, which is a horrible word to hear your doctor say. It's much better than to say it comes good. And uh, so I'm gonna have to have a new surgery. They're gonna take all this out, you know, take out the bone of the dead guy so I killed a man for nothing. <laughs> And hopefully this thing will work out. Next week, in fact, I'll be having my next surgery. And uh, we'll see if I can wave better than that or not. <laughs> so for me, you know, this whole thing about being in these great shows, you know, for me, this is a bit like a panacetamol, you know. Uh, because it's like my favorite Dutch word, which you all know, of course, if you, not that many of you are Dutch, but the greatest word is, is uh, gezellig, you know. <laughs> which is this great, wonderful evening we do together as a group, you know. So that's why I love to come to a place like this, get on stage, free paracetamol, it's a gezellig evening. So my name was Socrates, you were a great crowd. I hope everybody has a date tonight, especially in the back there. Thanks so much, give it back up for Steven, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, give it up for Scratches. <laughs>